Welcome back to Chaos Corner. It's your old buddy, the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy. And I tell it like it is. I'll say that to say this. Coming to you live to tape from 25 feet below the surface of the earth. We have a special edition here on a Monday to start off the wrestling week. Fans, I want you to stay in touch with me. I want you to hit that like button. I want you to tap the bell. I want you to subscribe and follow. Hit me up on all social media platforms. Of course, here on YouTube, on the Guardian of Chaos channel. If you hit me up on Twitter, at Big Daddy GOC, and the GOC stands for the Guardian of Chaos, hit the profile link. That will bounce you over here to Guardian of Chaos on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook at Protigio Fidelis El Guardian, and of course, my alter ego, Jay Brony. Also, over on Instagram at The Guardian of Chaos. Fans, you're not going to want to miss all the news and information I have coming out about the pro wrestling world. So sit back, relax. This is going to be a short edition. Let me lower the distractions. It's going to be a beautiful Monday. It's going to be a great week. Where else can you get professional wrestling almost seven days a week? We could talk about all the groups. We could talk about AEW Elevation. We could talk about AEW Dark. We could talk about AEW Rampage, AEW Dynamite. We could talk about the WWE and Monday Night Raw. We could talk about SmackDown. We could talk about MLW. We could, well, we can't talk about Ring of Honor anymore. We could talk about Impact Wrestling. We could talk about the NWA. We could talk about my home, Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. But that's not what we're going to do today. We're here to cover some words and definitions from the past that in case you marks out there, uh, no offense because I'm one too, or even you workers, the talent, the stars, the fans, you may not know these definitions. So let's go back in history here on Chaos Corner. Don't go anywhere. We're bouncing over to YouTube. I am the GOC. Don't you dare miss it. All right, fans. Welcome back on all other social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and even over on Rumble and Gab at the Guardian of Chaos. Thanks for being here, fans. An impromptu episode of Chaos Corner. And as I said in the opening monologue before we jumped over here, I'm going to break down some terms and definitions from the past, the present, and the future that you, the fans, the workers, the talent, the front offers, the promoters, you should know these terms. So who else to bring it to you? It's me. It's me. It's the GOC. And I'm happy to be here. All right, fans, sit back and relax. Let me, let, let me take a... It's early in the morning here. I don't know. It's definitely mid-morning, way before lunchtime. It might even be, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't even know if I've gone to bed yet. I don't want to get the uh, non-sponsor here on screen. So let me have a little sip of the java. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Mmm. We don't, we don't want to break any of the rules here. I hope everybody's doing well. I want to give a big greeting and salutations to you, the fans, the subscribers, everyone that watches this on all social media platforms, because without you, there would be no Chaos Corner. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to make this a uh, live-to-tape quick one here. These are the Fighting Words Glossary. So I want you to look it up, leave a comment, tell me what you think, inbox me, email me. Uh, I'm very active on all social media platforms across the board. I usually post daily, if not daily, every other day, sometimes several times a day. So here we go. I'm going to break it down and alphabetical order. I've compiled these all together. I've had help with the friends and workers that I know. Of course, the terms that I've known for being, yes, a 50-year fan of the business. And I'm also going to refer back to a complete idiot's guide of pro wrestling by Captain Lou Albano and Burt Randolph Sugar. A match made in heaven. It doesn't get any better than that. That book was written well over 20 years ago, still pertinent to this day. 
So let's get down to business. Again, thank you for being here. Uh, I know, I know, I'm, I'm rambling on. Oh, speaking of rambling on, let me give a big shout out to one of my favorite sponsors. I can't go a day without this product, and that would be Sweet Heal. That's right, Sweet Heal CBD. If fans go out to the website, go to social media, go to my good buddy, Mr. Hempel Stillskin. That's right. Mr. Hempel Stillskin, and check out Sweet Heal CBD for all your CBD needs, whether it be gummies, edibles, lotions, tinctures. They have everything you can think of. Soothing muscle gel. There's nothing on the CBD products out there on the line in the country across the world that Sweet Heal doesn't have and doesn't provide. As a two-time Hall of Famer in my 50s, I don't go a day without using some sort of Sweet Heal CBD product. So again, I'm going to say that a big shout out to Mr. Hempel Stilskin over at Sweet Heal CBD and SweetHeal.com. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's get down to the task at hand, and that would be the world of professional wrestling. Here we go with the Fighting Words Glossary. We're going to start off with the word angle. And here's the definition. We'll break it down in layman's terms. Angle. A technique used by promoters and managers to create a feud or a grudge match. It may involve only one match or continue over several matches. At show. Short for athletic show. A regular feature of carnivals in the 19th century that showcased athletic prowess. Baby face. Uh, C face. I think we all know what baby face is. The good guy. The white hat. Uh, we'll get on to that later on in our fighting words glossary. Battle Royale. An awesome match that involves 30 or more wrestlers who enter the ring one at a time every three minutes. It's every man for himself. And anyone thrown over the top rope is eliminated. The last wrestler in the ring wins the match. Blading. That's why I got the forehead covered up. In the old days, wrestlers would hide blades on their bodies and cut themselves during a match to create a dramatic gush of blood. This practice was called blading. It's now an illegal practice. But guess what? It isn't because not only do people get busted open the hard way, people still blade in the business here in 2021. Blow up. To become weary or depleted of energy. Some wrestlers blow up on the entry ramp. ramp. Uh, I gotta admit that uh, I used to blow up walking to the ring. <laughs> uh, that's neither here nor there. Booker. The person in charge of planning a match. Promoters hire bookers to create just the right combination of talent, angles, and finishes for an exciting match. Brass Knucks match. Imagine which brass knuckles are placed on top of a corner pole in the ring. The first wrestler to get to them can use them. Bump. And I know that we know all know what that is. I'm feeling it here today. That's why I refer to Sweet Heel CBD. Bump. A fall or a hit which literally knocks the victim out of the ring, usually the high point of a match. Wrestlers. Referees, managers, valets, and other participants can all suffer from bumps in the ring. Not to mention the bumps outside the ring. Cage match. Imagine which the ring is surrounded by a metal cage to keep competitors in and interference out. The cage can be climbed or rigged with an electrical current to keep the wrestlers off. Talk about history in the making. If you ever have seen some of those exploding death matches that seem to be the rage over in Japan years ago, and they even had a couple recently in AEW, and uh, uh, you go back to the WWC days down in Carlos Colon's Puerto Rico, and you'll see a lot of these different matches, even XPW or Combat Zone or or, or even Nick Gage, uh, all the crazy bastards out there doing uh, 
the electrified and barbed wire and exploding matches. Well, I know I've been involved in a few. I'm just saying the risks sometimes outweigh the reward when it comes to the cage match and all the different things that you can set up from barbed wire to electricity and so on and so forth. A dangerous business. Card. I'm, I'm quite the card, all right? A list of wrestling matches occurring at a specific place in time. Carney, which we all are at one term uh, or one time or another. And that term, see how I tie it up like a little bow? Used to refer to carnivals and to carnival operators and their employees. That's where this allegedly all started in the history and the word and the language of the carnies. I think a lot of you fans know that. If you don't know, now you know. Count out. If a wrestler is knocked out of the ring, he has 10 seconds to get back in without help. Now, a lot of places sometimes it's the count is now 20. The opponent must back off in a neutral corner. If he interferes in any way, the count starts over. This practice is worked into matches to allow wrestlers some breathing time. If both men are out of the ring for a 10 count, the match is over. This is called a double disqualification via the countout because the ref called for the bell. You see how easy we make it here at Chaos Corner? Cycle. I think a lot of people know about that as well. I don't condone it. I'm just saying. Steroids are prescribed in cycles, so the building up or shrinking down of muscles as a result of the drug is called a cycle. Disqualification. Losing a match for breaking the rules or leaving the ring rather than being pinned or forced into submission. Do the job. One of the most important definitions and things that I could think about in the business from the past the present, and the future. And for all you greenhorns and rookies and youngsters and newbies and whatever you want to call yourself in the pro wrestling world, do the job. Even to the veterans, the legends, the stars. Getting pinned in the ring. It's a thankless job, but someone has to do it. Do the job. DQ, as we just said. See disqualification, will you please? Draw. A wrestler's public image carefully created by promotion and performance, which is awesome enough to bring fans into the ring. You're known as the draw. Dud. I think we know what that word, uh, means. And dud spelled backwards is dud. An extremely dull or boring match. Exposing the business, which a lot of people like to do, and that's why their kayfabe is no longer alive and this really, with all the documentaries and different things from Dark Side of the Ring nowadays to exposing the business back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, yeah, probably not the best thing. I, I miss it when it was kayfabe. Uh, I, I miss it being in the business when it was kayfabe. But I understand that all these dirt sheets, smart marks, podcasts, the competition online, the IWC, it's overwhelming, flooded. You have to really stand out. So exposing the business is not something I'm always down with, but I guess you could say by doing this right now, presenting to you the fans here in Chaos Corner, this is exposing the business to an extent. I mean, let's face it, I'm giving out the glossary of the fighting glossary. So let's get back to exposing the business, giving away wrestling secrets, either on purpose or accidentally. Now we go back to face, which I described earlier, but let's get the official Definition. A hero or a good guy, also known as a baby face. Faces can be very unpopular because they always follow the rules and are promoted as wimpy goody goodies. Whatever the hell that means. It's not my definition. It's just the words that I mix with what I know. This is the fighting, the fighting glossary. What do you want me to tell you? Don't blame me. Blame the fighting glossary. Fall. The referee's three count as a wrestler's shoulders are pinned to the mat. Falls count anywhere match. To win a match, you have to pin your opponent for a three count. In a falls count anywhere match, the pin can occur anywhere in the arena, even in the aisles. Feud. 
Matches that are scheduled between wrestlers who annoy each other, usually the good guys versus the bad guys. I could think of one feud in particular that's going to come to a head this Saturday Night Live. And that would be former WWE veteran Mario Mancini, an owner of Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling, who takes on the current Alley Fights champion for PAPW and one Dustin Flash Waller. This has been brewing for a while. Student versus teacher this Saturday Night Live. At the Greater New Haven JCC, Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling presents Type 1 to None Round 3 for Team CC and Juvenile Diabetes. And that's part of the card. As we already broke down, what is a card? A list of wrestling matches occurring at a specific place and time. And I just threw it out there. Feud? The feud between Mario Mancini and Dustin Flash Waller is coming to a head at Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. You see how we can all correlate it together. So that's the definition, the official definition. Finish. The final moves that signal who will win or lose as the match draws to a close. First blood match. A match in which the first man to juice, that's right, J-U ice, we know what that means, to bleed, to leak, to be busted open. A match in which the first man to juice is the loser, but both wrestlers juice before the match is over. A very controversial practice in modern pro wrestling. Remember, fans, where we are and where this comes from. Getting heat, something I do naturally on my own. It's pretty easy to get heat if you're good at what you do. Getting heat, the role of the bad guy to get the crowd to boo or react with hostility to him. As enthusiastic cheers or boo means the match is successfully getting heat. This is what we do. We break it down. We peel it back. This is what you do here on the Fighting Glossary on Chaos Corner. Live to tape. Thanks for being here, fans. From the bottom of my heart, all chicanery aside, I greatly appreciate it. Getting over. Connecting with the crowd by making the fans accept and react to your wrestling persona. Gimmick, a prop used as a wrestler's trademark and also often as a weapon. Like as you look at me, this is my gimmick. The glasses, the chains, you guys get the gimmick. Greco-Roman wrestling. An old form of wrestling developed in France in the 1860s. This type of wrestling requires a wrestler to throw an opponent so that both shoulders touch the mat simultaneously. Tripping and holds below the waist are not allowed. Green, as I was just refer uh, referring to the rookies. An unseasoned wrestler who makes mistakes early in his career. Green, well... You can make mistakes later in your career, too, and you're not green. So I guess that definition uh, could apply to a lot of different people. But when you're first in the business, you're green. Hair versus hair match. Pretty self-explanatory. In these matches, the loser gets his head shaved as a humiliating punishment, but often escapes before he can be touched. We've seen that many times. A popular variation is the mask versus mask match, especially in Lucha Libre, in which the loser must reveal his face. Pretty simple. Ham and Egger. And boy, do I love that term. I know a lot of Ham and Eggers. I'm a, I'm a Ham and Egger myself. Don't be offended by Ham and Egger. A professional opponent, one who hasn't yet made it to the high level of fan recognition. So he or she is cast as the loser in bouts, also known as the proverbial jobber and there's nothing wrong with that because jobbers in the business and now they want to call it enhancement talent are probably some of the best workers in professional wrestling they are there to put the the bigger stars over and to make them look good always remember that back in the golden era back in the 60s 70s 80s before the way of the jobber went uh, in, in the 90s that was the person who made you look good put you over someone who was as good as if not better than the top guy the star so there's a lot to be said by that it's not to be offended people get offended by the word the words and the phrases ham and egg or mark green don't get offended by those words it, 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 talk about carney 
handicap match. A match that is booked two-on-one, three-on-one in order to introduce a vicious new heel. He takes on two or three undersized jobbers who get completely destroyed. Again, to make the star, the big guy, the main man, the draw, to look good. Uh, you do realize it's no shave November, right? Cut me some slack. Hardway juice. We already covered this a little bit by using the term busted open. Hardway juice. Blood drawn during a match without the use of blading. Heat. The audience excitement in anticipation of a match. Or when you get heat as the bad guy, the pop, whatever you want to call it. There's different terms to use it in different ways, but they're all classified similar. Here in the fighting glossary. Heel. A bad guy who doesn't follow established rules. The opposite of a face. A rudo, so to speak. Hook. Illegal tricks.